Now let's look at instrument reliability, which is going to establish the stability of the instrument. There are different ways to do this. We can look at iterator reliability. That's when two or more people say this is an agreement. We're in agreement that this is good and reliable as far as an instrument goes. The test retest. So the scores on the same instrument administered at different times are comparable. So we have two different tet or two different times we've used it and the results are similar. The split half reliability. Scores on two versions of the same test are examined and are comparable. So we split the test in half and give it to two different people or two different groups. Inner item reliability. Items in an index measuring the same concept produce the same results. Let's look at an inner rater reliability example. We're going to ask 10 people to serve as raters to judge if the dribbling ability of an individual is excellent, good, fair, or poor, or stinks. So we're asking them to rate the ability of the dribbling of the individual. The results came out and five raters or five people judged it as excellent good as far as dribbling. Four said it was fair dribbling and one person said it was poor or terrible dribbling. So based on these results, our inter-rater inter reliability is about 50%. Next, let's look at a reliability coefficient. And this is a measurement of the accuracy of a measuring instrument. And it can range from zero to one, where one is perfect reliability. So when we're using different approaches to look at reliability, we're gonna have a different reliability correlation. So the integrator reliability, this is when the ratings of two or more judges correlate with each other. And we want an reliability correlation coefficient of 0.6 or better. The test retest reliability, where scores on the same instrument administers at two different times correlate with each other. There, we want our reliability correlation to be 0.8 or better. So we're getting really high. And it's gonna follow suit with a couple other ones with split half reliability and inner item consistency or inner item reliability. So we want each of those to look at a reliability correlation of 0.8 or better. Here's a good example I like to look at when we talk about validity and reliability. So for each target, let's talk about how it demonstrates validity and reliability. So our first target, we have four shots and they're all over the place. So our data we gathered are not val valid or reliable. So we can move to the next one and we've done a better job. We've got a grouping up in the top left of four marks in the same area. So because they're close together, we know that's reliable. It's just not valid because we're not hitting where we want to hit. We're not hitting the bullseye. Then we get a little bit better and we've got a good grouping and we've got them in the general area where we want to have them. So they're valid and reliable. 